Hello everybody and welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. I do not only this tequila I'm doing today, I do all kinds of tequilas. I do every kind of liquor, everything, and liqueurs, and beers, and wines, and teas, and beautiful, my Sunday morning famous world coffees. And I do some everyday stuff, and I do some unique stuff that, if you check out my playlists, the way I have it broken down, you're going to be amazed. You're going to have want to get a bunch of stuff. You can get ideas for parties, for gifts for other people that if they might be interested in some of the things I review. This is the place to go check it out. Hit me with a sub, you'll get the bell, you'll get all my notifications as you know, but you can ignore them if they don't sound. But when the ones that you have to see come on, then you click on them and you watch them. If it's something you're not interested in, well, you let it go by. But the sub is what I'm really after. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, Coda Go, all right? George Strait's um, tequila. Now I've done his Rosa and his Bianco, and now we're gonna do his uh, on Yeho. So let's look at it. There it is. There it is. Come on, you little son of a gun. Do your what you're supposed to do. So you gotta be. You skipping there. Look at that crisp and clean. What is, what, so here it is. Um, Cotago 1530 Añejo has been lauded by tequila experts as the finest Añejo tequila available. Hmm, what experts? Our Añejo is a private recipe refined over many generations, aged for 18 months in Napa Valley Cabernet barrels that held Cabernet Sauvignon wine, uh, French oak, French white oak barrels that held Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley, all right? Refined, elegant, and expressive. 100% agave, no additive, sweeteners, flavor, coloring, or chemicals, award-winning, family-owned, and it lists the awards. All right, we will be the judge of whether or not this is any good. And like I said, don't forget to check out my tequila playlist and all the rest of them, because you're gonna be amazed. All right, all right let's see what we got here. So like I said, of George Strait, this is the third one I'm doing. All right, so you got to check the rose is cool. All right, it's rose colored. Very good. Picked up just enough of that uh, Cabernet barrel, turn it that red, the rose color. All right, so here it is. Hmm. Well, I smell that oak right off the bat. Fruity, the sweet agave smell that you always smell. Kind of a toasted type smell. Fruity, toasty, oaky, sweet. Very nice. Mm. It's different. I think I taste the influence of that uh, wine. I do a lot of wine reviews. This is nice. I like the combination of the fruit, the oak, the vanilla coming from the barrel, the little spiciness coming from the barrel, um, with the, the, the wine type taste that I actually get out of this. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Anyway, so it's very good. So those are all the flavors in there. Very nice. Now I'm about to, um, uh, you know, I did a, I have some shot glasses made out of 100% Himalayan salt. How cool is it? Well, it's damn cool. I did a review of them. I got to check it out. Now I'm getting ready to put some tequila in them and review them with the tequila, how it changes the tequila. So check out my playlist. I'll put this shot glass thing uh, under my tequila playlist so you can see it real nice. And we're going to see what that pouring that in that shot glass made out of tequila does. I mean made out of tequila. <laughs> made out of Himalayan salt. It's going to be fantastic. It's how I go above and beyond. Thank you for being here. Check out my playlist. Give me the sub. And uh, just look at all the stuff I review. I'm telling you, you're going to be amazed. I have something for everybody. And in the meantime, I will see you all on the next one.